Top 10 Known Diabetes Complications 1. Kidney Disease The kidney's primary function is to filter blood for waste and then circulate the purified blood back through the body. When the kidneys fail, the body is unable to flush out waste and regulate its fluid and salt levels. Diabetes mellitus, a disease that causes high blood sugar levels, can lead to kidney failure. High blood sugar levels are harmful to the kidneys because they damage the millions of small filtering units there. This condition causes kidney failure over time. Diabetic kidney disease typically worsens gradually over a long period of time. You can protect your kidneys and avoid or postpone kidney disease by taking certain measures. If you experience any of the symptoms of kidney disease, you should schedule an appointment with your doctor immediately. Diabetics should get kidney function tests once a year, or more often if instructed to do so by their health professional. 2. Cardiac Arrest Causes of cardiac arrest range from ischemic heart disease and genetic arrhythmias to diabetes, making it the leading cause of mortality worldwide. When it comes to sudden cardiac arrest, diabetes is a major risk factor that does not receive nearly as much attention as heart disease. Know your risk for cardiac arrest and how to take preventative measures if you have this condition. Cardiac arrest happens when the heart's electrical system, which controls heart rhythm, suddenly stops working. Due to the malfunction, abnormal heart rhythms called arrhythmias occur, which might eventually cause the heart muscle to stop working altogether. That is called as cardiac arrest. Diabetes is linked to cardiac arrest, however the underlying causes of this link are unclear. Having too much sugar in the blood is a symptom of diabetes, which is caused by inadequate insulin synthesis. Nerves and blood arteries, especially those leading to the heart, can be damaged by high blood sugar over time. The two most common causes of heart attack risk are coronary microvascular disease and coronary macrovascular disease, which are both caused by damage to the blood vessels. 3. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease Diabetes makes it more likely that you will get non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Even if you drink very little or no alcohol, fat accumulates in your liver when you have this condition. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease affects at least half of those with type 2 diabetes. It is unknown whether those with type 1 diabetes are at a higher risk of developing the disease than others. Obesity is a common condition that affects both type 1 and type 2 diabetics equally and increases the likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is also more likely to develop if you have other medical issues. High cholesterol and high blood pressure are two examples of these diseases. Most of the time, there are no symptoms of fatty liver disease. However, it increases your risk of getting cirrhosis, a disorder that causes liver scarring or swelling. Additionally, it raises your chance of kidney disease, heart disease, and liver cancer. Even type 2 diabetes may be affected by fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease can become worse if you have both problems and your type 2 diabetes is not well controlled. When you are first diagnosed with diabetes, your doctor could advise having your liver imaged using ultrasound technology. Then, to keep track of how your liver is functioning, your healthcare professional will probably perform routine follow-up blood tests. For Diabetic Retinopathy Diabetic retinopathy is an eye disease that can make people lose their sight or even go blind. High blood sugar from diabetes is what causes diabetic retinopathy. If blood sugar levels remain high for an extended period of time, the retina, the part of the eye that senses light and transmits those signals to the brain via a nerve at the back of the eye,
can get damaged. To put it simply, diabetes is bad for your circulatory system. When sugar clogs up the retina's vessels, blood leaks out or bleeds, causing damage to your eyes. Eyes develop inefficient new blood vessels to make up for those that are blocked. In other words, these brand new blood vessels are prone to leaking and bleeding. Your eye doctor will test how well you see the details of letters or symbols from a distance during your eye test. The retina and the interior of your eyes will be checked, and your doctor may use a special dye to detect blood vessel leaks. If your eye doctor suspects diabetic retinopathy, he or she may recommend more often examinations of your eyes than once a year. If you have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, you need to have your eyes tested right away for diabetic retinopathy. Checkups for people with type 1 diabetes are recommended within the first five years after diagnosis and then annually thereafter. Treating diabetic retinopathy as soon as possible increases the likelihood of a successful outcome. 5. Arthritis Pain and stiffness in the joints are common symptoms of arthritis, an inflammatory condition that can affect any number of joints and worsen with age. Arthritis can affect people of any age, gender, or ethnicity. Arthritis and diabetes are very similar in a lot of ways. Diabetes and arthritis are both very common in adulthood, affecting 47% of those who have diabetes. A diagnosis of diabetes is 61% more likely in people with arthritis compared to those without joint disease. Although diabetes is not directly linked to the development of arthritis, it does increase the risk of the condition for those who already have it. Cartilage, a collagen, protein, and water-based gel cushions the ends of bones. Cartilage prevents bones from breaking when they rub against one another. When joint cartilage is injured or worn down from repeated use, movement becomes painful or impossible. A faster rate of joint surface deterioration may be associated with diabetes. Extra glucose can sometimes adhere to joint surfaces, which limits their movement. Because of this, movement is restricted and eventually, wear and tear injuries occur. Tissues like tendons and ligaments are made of collagen, therefore having high glucose levels can thicken and damage the collagen. Injuries are more likely to occur and mobility decreases when people have less joint mobility. Damage to the joints can cause pain and discomfort, leading some people to avoid physical exercise altogether. The development of cardiovascular disease and insulin resistance are aided by a lack of physical activity. 6. Osteoporosis Osteoporosis is a global health problem that affects both older men and women. It slowly destroys the microstructure of bone, especially at trabecular sites like the vertebrae, ribs, and hips, which can lead to pain and disability. Those with diabetes, and especially those with type 1 diabetes, are more likely to suffer from poor bone quality and break more easily. Patients on insulin for a long time who also have poor blood sugar control are at the highest risk for fractures. Type 1 diabetes is more common in children when their bones are still developing and growing. Lower peak bone mass, the highest attainable strength and density of bones, may be reached by people with type 1 diabetes. In most cases, maximal bone mass occurs during the 20s. A higher chance of developing osteoporosis in old age is associated with low peak bone mass. Diabetic issues such as nerve damage, muscular weakness, periods of low blood sugar, and visual problems can all increase the likelihood of falling and breaking a bone. 7. Memory loss Memory loss and problems with thinking in general are both signs of Alzheimer's disease. Type 2 diabetes may be linked to these problems. 
people with diabetes frequently experience vascular damage. Cognitive impairment and vascular dementia are possible outcomes of this injury. These are common among those suffering from Alzheimer's disease. One study found evidence linking abnormalities in insulin signaling and glucose metabolism to the development of Alzheimer's disease. Insulin receptors can be found in the brain. These cells are able to detect insulin. Memory and learning are influenced by insulin. You are more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease if your body's insulin levels are out of balance. People with type 2 diabetes are more likely to experience this imbalance. 8. Diarrhea Diabetics are at increased risk for a variety of digestive complications, including diarrhea. Most people with diabetes will experience diarrhea at some point. Long-term diabetics are more likely to have this complication. People with diabetes who have diarrhea can also have problems with bowel control, especially at night. This is because the anal sphincter is affected by the nerve damage associated with diabetes. To eliminate waste from the body, the anal sphincter muscle relaxes and contracts. 9. Fatigue Fatigue is a typical symptom of diabetes. High blood sugar levels and other problems of diabetes can cause this. When the body's cells do not receive sufficient glucose, fatigue and weakness may result. Medications for diabetes, such as insulin and metformin, facilitate the uptake of glucose by cells and prevent its accumulation to dangerous levels in the blood. Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, can occur as a negative reaction to diabetic therapy. Those who suffer from low blood sugar on a regular basis and who don't have adequate warning that their blood sugar is lowering are particularly vulnerable to fatigue. Low blood sugar medication may not relieve fatigue completely. 10. Coma Coma caused by diabetes is a serious medical emergency. When you're in a diabetic coma, you lose consciousness and can't react to anything happening around you. Either your blood glucose is too high, hyperglycemia, or too low, hypoglycemia. If you or someone you know falls into a diabetic coma, seek emergency medical assistance. By maintaining blood sugar levels within the recommended parameters, you can reduce your risk of developing a diabetic coma. Taking proper care of your diabetes requires you to meet with a certified diabetes educator. Thank you.